Hey YouTube, um, I have no clue uh, if this is going to be the beginning of a video or not, so I just decided to do this. So this is Carrie from Razor Sharp Crafts, and um, if this is the beginning of the video, then you know who I am, and if it's the middle or a few minutes in, then you've heard it twice, right? <laughs> so we are continuing on with our um, Tando Creative Chalk you Chalk to Do board, and oh, there you go. I know you don't get that great of a view, but um, or that it's kind of far away. But uh, that's what I gotta do to keep it in frame. So, so this is our overlay, and that's our backing. And I just traced it because um, I'm gonna do some mixed media on the white. And uh, excuse me, when I glue, I'm going to do some texture too. So I don't want it where these two boards need to come together. Yeah, see. So I uh, figured I would outline it, and then I know to keep mainly the textures, not so much. I'm going to do some gelatos. This did warp some. I did put it under some heavy stuff for last night, and um, but I'm going to add more, more mediums to it, which is going to cause more water. So I just figure I'm going to get it all done, or well, get this all done and probably the overlay glued on and then I'm gonna put it under I only had like some some of the big dies sitting on it I'm gonna put some heavy books on it this time instead so let's get to it um now my let me zoom in just for a second you might not be able to see like there's some texturing already in my gesso because like I was telling you in the other video my gesso has a tendency it kind of dries quickly and then it starts getting sticky and sometimes it peels up so I got my gelatos out I have this of the the normal ones that got sent out and then I have these which are the 50s diner and the tropical whichever that came out afterwards so I'm just going to use some different blues oh I finished up the the blue the the squares with the chalkboard paint on them I have them setting aside they're pretty well dry but I wanted them to sit a little bit longer and I need to get some chalk so I can condition them before I glue them on <clears throat> but basically none of the blues in the gelatos are um, like will cause them to like blend in you know what I mean like the, those even though I'm going to do this background blue that ocean blue chalkboard paint will still stand out it won't blend into the background with these so we're just going to all right, so what I got here is I got Snow Cone, Aqua Dolce, Boysenberry, Cotton Candy, Metallic Blueberry, and Blueberry. Um, it's basically every blue colored gelato <coughs> that Faber Castell has out. With, well, that's not the double scoop, but it's every color. So I'm just going to randomly. scribble all these on and go from there I guess I don't really have a plan I was just like you know what I haven't used my gelatos in a long time I got a lot of blues oh I'm not doing this side it's I think I want to use my metallic to add to afterwards. 
you're already over there. I just, no, I didn't. No clue what I'm doing. <laughs> so let's just see what this does. I mean, if worse comes to worse, we just sew over it and start over, right? So I just got a baby wipe. And I'm just kind of blending here. kind of see some different colors in there. My legs hitting against as I'm, because I'm like wiggling here. I kind of really like using the metallic. Go over this really well. This is a metallic blueberry. off all that that got smushed around. Just using my finger now because I don't want the baby wipe to take the metallic off. I'm basically just trying to get some blue blueing in the background. Some blueing. <laughs> some different little bit of different shady blue like you know, um, we're kind of varying. Like there's a little bit of this color here, a little bit of this color here, but they're all mixed together. I really like that metallic. So let's see what this does. Oh, that's gonna look cool. We need to get some more color over here though. this corner, a little in this corner, a little in this corner. God, that's the problem. You use the clean part of the baby wipe and it takes everything right off. this metallic blueberry. I haven't used my gelatos much since I bought them. 
I've used them a little bit for some um, background on canvases, but I have been, I've honestly not really gotten too carried away with them and, and not because I didn't want to or I guess it stems more off of just not, not really knowing what to do with them. I've watched many YouTube videos of people using them and I guess I also haven't done a whole lot of mixed media lately though either. I've been I've kind of gotten back um, into cards and stuff lately. I've really enjoyed making cards. Probably going to do um I did for a year where um everybody in my family, my side and my husband's side, I sent them a birthday card for their birthday, homemade birthday cards for their birthdays. And uh I'm probably gonna start doing that again next probably later this year or next year. Um, after we get settled in the States. I'm just trying to use the baby wipe to kind of wet my fingers now. I'm not sure it's blending as well as it should be now. But I think I'm going to be stopping here. I really like what I got going on. Lotto off my hands here. Oh my gosh, that blue. Um, um, the chalkboard paint. That stuff was a pain getting it off my mat. I didn't think I was ever going to get it all off. My arm hurts from scrubbing my mat. See snow cone and I'll put Dolce go in there. Okay. Now hopefully I can still see my lines. At least well enough. I mean it's basically three quarters of an inch away from the edges, just stay a so The next question is, what should I use for my texture? Oh, let me get the stencils first. Hold on. Alrighty. So I have the Distorted Hive stencil and the Distorted Harlequin. And I really think I'm going to do the Hive because I have a different plan for the Harlequin for a different... Um, What you might call it, a different project this month. Okay, you can kind of see. I'm gonna hit this with the heat gun real quick, just to. Er, sorry, I gotta put my transformer in just to help it dry.
So now, okay. Okay, so do I use like a molding paste and color it? Let's see, because I got I got glass bead gel, I got clear tar gel, light molding paste, coarse pumice gel. Mm -mm. And then I got just plain old molding paste. But any of those I have to color. Whoops. I love the way all this stuff smells. I guess I'm weird like that. Okay, but then I got my shimmers. I really think I want to use one of my shimmers textures. Or maybe two of my shimmers textures. Three. Okay, because I got gritty graphite, which is kind of more like a charcoal, but it's still kind of gray or blackish. And then I got patina, and I got tell me no lies. I really want to use the textures, not the dazzlers, because I mean the dazzlers are bright, but the blue I got, which is the gummy bear blue. Why is that sticky? I bet it got hit when I sprayed hairspray the other day to seal something. Um, the gummy bear is going to blend. I mean, look at, there's barely any color difference there. And then for black, I have the licorice stick. So then it's just going to be black then. But with this, I can do a little bit of a Maybe almost like an, an ombre or something. But, anywho, let's just get to it, right? It's like, just shut up and do it. <clears throat> let's see how the patina looks on it. never used textures they are or well it's um it's a shimmers product it's a company in the US um and their products are amazing they're just like wonderful colors wonderful they have sprays and paints and the textures and the dazzlers And this is like a, basically like a molding paste with sand in it almost. So it gives a gritty feel, nice texture. Oh, that looks so cool. You know, I need a baby wipe. Because I want to get where I went over the mask off. I 
as gently as possible because the, the gelatos will come up with it. Then I'm going to clean my mask. I'm just off to the side cleaning my mask just with a baby wipe, wiping it off because I want to use it to do another color. I'll work this corner now. Um, hold on. And again, I'm just trying to keep it to where when I glue the black on, it's not being glued on top of it. All right. We're going to use some Teal Me No Lies. It's like a really, really dark blue. Almost a midnight blue. And with this stuff, a little bit goes a long way. So that's why you'll see me re-scraping. Just kind of smoothing it out. And like with any type of texture like this, um, like a, any type of molding paste or whatever, the thicker the layer you put down, obviously, the longer it's going to take for it to dry. I went and got it on the top part of the knife here. I love this stencil. This is just too cool. 
And I love the way it looks when you take it off. It's just like, wow. All right, cleaning off the stencil. Oh, wow, look at I was cleaning the stencil, just rubbing across it vigorously with a baby wipe, and it left a pattern on my paper towel now. It's like a new technique I've just learned now. Especially if you like to use used up paper towels in your, uh, like maybe your art journaling. That'd be pretty cool. Alrighty. Now, I'm pretty well going to have to let this dry. I want to do some more um, stenciling in around here, but I can't lay the stencil on top of it. Um, yeah, I can't just lay the stencil on top because it'll mess it all up. So we gotta let this dry. I'm gonna close these up. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I guess we could, um,. We're at almost a half hour. I guess we could decide what color I want to do the letters for the days of the week and get them done. All right. I very clearly can't do blue now because, um, Blue is going to blend way too, way too much. We'll use... Perfect medium. Yeah, we can use perfect medium. Right. I don't have a big collection. This is like all the embossing powder. Well, besides UD. Um, I have a bunch of UD, but I think UD on these little thin letters might be a little too much. So I have this blue glitz. All right, let's grab a board. That would definitely blend Let's zoom you in so you can see a little bit better. That would probably blend way too much. That's green, that's red. I bought these around Christmas time. I was hoping they'd get here in time for Christmas cards, but they didn't. Silver might be really nice. This is a black twinkle. It's black with silver in it as well, so, and this is Halloween. It's um, orange and black mixed together. I don't think I want to do white, 
So let's put these away. This I bought at a German store here. This is black with different colored glitter in it, but I don't think I want that either. Because uh, of, because of the different colors. Like black with glitter in it would be really cool, but I don't want that mix of different colored for glitter. So, I guess we're going to try doing the black and the silver mix. It's called Black Twinkle. This is from WOW. Um, oh, right there we go. WOWembossingpowder.co.uk <clears throat> It's another company in the UK along with Tando. They have a lot of great companies there. These are supposed to go like that. So, hold on. I need to get my special tool that I use for embossing. This nice piece of paper. <clears throat> that way I don't waste embossing powder, you know. I do my dabbing over here. Put that on there. Come out, come out wherever you are. And then I can just pour the embossing powder back in. Okay. Here we go. Loudness about to happen. Things a pain in the butt. Oops, oops. Yep. Heated too much in one spot and my green map my green mat underneath started to warp a little bit. Which is fine, you just push it back down. Not meant for heating on. There we go. So it's like black with a mix of silver. I think I like it. <laughs> You're all like, well, it's a little too late if you don't, right? I'm sure you can emboss over embossing powder though. It's like another embossing powder. Alright. We do have to make sure we use these here. Tweezers though, because these things do not sit still. Get this 
my tech tool over here. Careful, I don't want to. Knock any of the embossing powder off. burning my hands right now. Oh, that heat was coming right down on my hands. Okay, so we're just going to keep rolling like this with these. I definitely um wow embossing folder embossing folder embossing powder from the UK I think there is another company that in the US that's similar that like I don't know wow or something like that but um I tell you what this stuff from the UK is amazing like I love how fine it is it um it melts like really really pretty I just um, I highly recommend it I had ordered it because they had it at, they were having a uh, um, design team call back near the end of last year and so I ordered it because I wanted to try out for their design team. But I didn't end up getting it in time. Or maybe I got it in time, but I just didn't have time to do pro projects with it or whatever. But, um, yeah, their next design team call I will definitely be trying out for. Uh, 
obviously provided I'm in a position to try out for it. Um, we don't really... We're not exactly sure what everything entails for us with moving back to the States and um, no longer be an active duty military. My husband's still going to be guard. Um, I was going to go guard. I'm reserves right now. And I was going to go guard. But um, I've decided and actually that I'm just going to um, get out. Because... Um, if I'm, I'm not really, I don't feel, I don't really want to be in the reserves anymore. And when I looked, guard has awesome benefits and everything, but the one guard base in Ohio that wants me is also the one that wants my husband. I'm sure the others would take me, but the one, one was like, okay, yeah, we have a position for you and at your next available rank. So it would mean um, going up in rank and everything, but usually when guard bases get activated, the whole base goes, which would mean my husband and I would both go and we'd be leaving our kids with family. And I don't want to do that to my kids. I would rather me get out, just be the stay-at-home mom and be there for our kids. with as much as I love the military, I love the benefits, I love the feel of wearing the uniform, all that. I love my kids having a stable home more. So, so I'm going to turn in my combat boots and just be a stay at home mommy. And I'm very happy with that. But anyway, so we, we're not real sure what, you know, what will be in store for us. So I am going to go back to school once we get to Ohio. Whoa! That thing shot across the room. Um, I'm going to be going back to school to finish my degree in uh, paralegal studies. So I'll be going to school and I have my commitment with... Diamond dies, which goes through till some. It's either August or September, I think now, because we extended, so it's now a year term, and I think we started in August or September. So. So yeah, so I have my com commitment to Diamond Dyes, and uh, so, but theirs will roll around probably the same time next year, which was a little before Christmas. I think it was in November. So depending what I'm on for design teams at that time, I might be able to try out. I really want to up my uh, just like my projects and all that stuff because I really, 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 really want to try out for Graphic 45's design team call next year. Um, I couldn't this year because I wasn't going to commit myself to them when I knew I was going to be moving mid-year.
but yeah, I didn't want to, ow, ooh, those babies are hot, but yeah, I didn't want to end up making the team, and then we're moving in um, July, my husband's last day of work is 30 January, or 30 J June, so we'll either, we'll either fly out that day, or the um, the first most likely so it's one of those things where I had already committed to D so I, I was fine with that um, but I was like man if I was on graphic 45 that's going to be really hard to do because it just the amount of paper and stuff that you have to take and all that is just like wow like with D, I, um, my dyes and some paper, and I can create some pretty amazing stuff with those things. So, with Graphic 45, it's always like a new line, you know? A new beautiful line. But, anyways, so I just had already decided that I wasn't going to even attempt this year, and, um, I haven't made a whole lot of stuff with Graphic 45's products anyway, so I need to really make some stuff up with their products and then I have some stuff to show them next year when it comes around. And there goes my perfect medium. All right. I'm rambling here, aren't I, people? Okay. I have a little right there. My f or swept my floor in here in a few weeks. Okay, it's all good. So, all right, what are we at now? What are we doing? What's going on? We're at 48 minutes. So, I'm going to stop this video here. Um, we got these all done. So, beautiful. I know that light coming in my window might be messing up what y'all can see. But they're just black with silver glitter in them. And now I have silver glitter everywhere. But, um, so we have those done. Those go on top of these squares. And they mark each square for a day of the week can't put them on yet. I gotta get chalk so I can condition these. Um, so I have to do that first. What time is it? Oh, my craft store is closed, so I'll have to wait till tomorrow. So, oh, I'm gonna have to end this video right now anyways, because my son's gonna be home soon. So, I'm gonna end here, and when I come back, we'll be finishing up the backboard. This big bad boy will be finishing up it and working on putting this all together. So please stay tuned. Bye bye.